been chased out of my house again. Ugh. I can't cook anything because then it'll make my house smell. So, um, yeah, but at least my house is wonderful and clean. And once you get your house straight, it's really easy to maintain that. You just got to put everything away every day. Oh my God, there's a party going on over there. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I see some old cars in town. I never get to enjoy my town. Never. So, uh, I'm going to go out to breakfast. I got to waste a half hour. And, um, so yesterday I had to stay gone for three hours. So my girlfriend came up from Dumfries and uh, I shouldn't say girlfriend. She's my best friend. Okay. I don't, I, that's just old school stuff. Okay. Um... So we went to the riverboat and had our crab dip. I had one beer, two beers, and we left. Then we went and got our toes done. I got this puke green color. It looks like a throw up. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, when you list your house, it's no longer yours. They have they give have to give me two hours notice now for Next couple of days, I'll be at work, so I don't care as long as I gotta leave the place pristine, staged for showing. So, oh, it smells good. Okay. So, I got a box gathered up for my little sister, and I gave it to my best friend so my sister could pick it up at Dumfries. So, uh, some stuff I got 90% off. You can't overlook a buy like that when someone's got a new baby. You got to get whatever you can on discount. So, uh, I supposedly was told that I'm going to have an offer tonight. Um, I could tell you one thing. If it's, I get an offer on the first showing, yeah, it better be full price or, or real close to it because that just lets me know that all my hard work is paid off. Now, today I got my toe taped. Uh, it, the sensation's gone down and the swelling's gone down enough I can wear my work shoes without it putting pressure on that broken, um, and a, you know, broken toe is painful. I, I did, I was able to sleep last night because I took some congestion medicine, which included Tylenol, so that helped me sleep. Um, and then I, we tried the New Mexican restaurant in town, Azteca, and the food was wonderful. No Dos Equis though. And uh, then they kind of messed up our bill. They gave me somebody else's, but here's the funny thing. It was the same amount as mine. Uh, but. What's confusing is the waitress who waits on you should deliver the bill. And that's what flustered me when somebody else I hadn't seen comes. That is a, that I think is a no-no in the restaurant or food industry. The same lady who waited on you should bring you the bill because then she can take one last look at it. So they had to do a credit and avoid. Oh my God. Uh, so I checked my bank statement. Hopefully it's okay because I have to watch every penny. So, I found out the Stinky House in Tappahannock, where I was looking at, um, they're going to go in there in a deep cleaning, but there's no way to get out that much urine smell. So, they're just wasting their money. But I realized that when the lady that went with me to look at it, she goes, oh, you got a contingency. you got to come in with a full offer. No, that's not true. I can come in, I can offer her a six pack beer and a pizza and she has to present that. You guys, you must know this about real estate. They have to, they have to present any and all offers. So if I came in 30,000 under, they have to present that because you never know if the sellers will accept that, right? 
so I do have an opportunity to go and live where I used to live, where the White Marlin Open is at. Uh, my friend owns a hotel and she said she would rent a two bedroom. And I've stayed there many times. And they are the most loveliest couple I've ever met in my life. And when I'm with them, I feel like I'm near someone who loves me. I feel like they've taken the replacement of no, that could they never could of my parents. But you know, when you go back home, I'm gonna cry. When you go back home and you know that you were always welcome most of the time <laughs> and you get that warm feeling when you're laying in the bed and you smell that bacon in the morning, that's the same way uh, it is with those two. I've stayed with them many, many, many times in the Dominican. They we can't go back there. That broke my heart because of the rabies outbreak. And even though their dog has had the rabies shots, they, they take immaculate care of their dog. They can't bring the dog in. So there's like a rabies quarantine. I'm sick of all these quarantines. So, um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, I never get to enjoy my town. Even when I lived in Ocean City, I was going through such traumatic, horrible things that I think I only walked to the beach twice in four or five years. Um, <coughs> that's, that's sad. <coughs> but that's when I didn't even have a job there. But I have a job where I live now. I still don't get to enjoy anything. I think I'm just a homebody, you know, I like just staying home and I've always been an extrovert, but when I finally get out of the house, honey, I talk to everybody. I talk to the dog, the cat, I talk to your neighbor because it's just so fun to get out because I did suffer from agoraphobia for 10 years. I don't know what brought that on. I think it was somehow I knew in the back of the head, my head that my life was going to really be changed and upset. So. I did have no reason to leave. Uh, when I grew up, <clears throat> I grew up with having maids, live in maids, because my parents owned one of the most successful ceramic tile businesses in Fairfax County. And uh, this was in Oakton. We had, we had 25 employees in the late 60s. Um, we had maids. I had live in maids. Even when I lived in Winchester, we had maids. Uh, <coughs> Uh, when I lived down Vail Road, we had maids, and um, I resented them because I just wanted my mother to discipline me. I didn't like that part of it, but uh, yeah, this is this is when uh, it was acceptable to have you know maids. I guess now you call them nannies, uh, but yeah, even when I owned my tree company, I had two maids. And I also, uh, at the very beginning of it, when my children were still in school, I had a, uh, a, what is it called? A tutor. I had tutors that come and tutored my children to make sure they did their homework. Now, whether or not they did it or not, I don't know. I don't know if I remember checking it, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that my children succeeded in school, so I hired tutors. She's still a good friend of mine. So I'm gonna go in and have uh, the senior breakfast. God. So I don't know if y'all noticed this, but I hit, what was it, 20? All I know is that I got a lot more subscribers. I've hit a milestone. Now I can't look it up right now because I'm sitting in my car. So uh, I think I uploaded the tour of my house. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. So maybe it'll be sold tonight. I'll keep y'all abreast. And thanks for watching, everybody.